Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is December's budget breakdown and also a wrap up of what I spent the entire year. This video is the type of video I'll do um, at the end <laughs> of every month where I share what I made in the month, how I spent it, how I budgeted for it. So if you like this kind of content, continue watching uh, my budget breakdowns. Okay, so let's get into it. For the month of December, we brought in $18,822.66. I did roll in over some money. So $240.56 I rolled in from what I didn't use the previous month. And also we had savings transfers that I rolled in because at the end of last year, I did a kind of... Um, a reassessment of what was in my sinking fund and my emergency fund and I took out what overages I had in there so when I reassessed that I was just like okay I don't need to hold this much money into this account and also I had gained quite a bit of interest from holding my money in a high interest savings account so I pulled that out so we pulled out an additional three thousand three hundred and sixty nine dollars and eighty two cents into my budget so the total available to spend is $22,433.04, but I always like to talk in actuals, like what I actually earned as an income. So I'll keep that number up there. The $18,822.66 is what I'll keep up on the screen, but just know the available to spend was actually $22,433.04. And so I always start at savings. Um, if you've watched my budget breakdown videos before, I always say that I like to save first because I save way more money <laughs> when I spend what's left over after I save and invest. So we saved first and what we saved was $18,649.27. And again, a, a, quite a bit of that was from the interest that I received in my high interest savings account. So. I put that into savings as well. So that's what we saved. And the breakdown is how I saved it was my RSP, my TFSA, um, taxes, savings goals, my HST, HST that I collected, and then what I put into my business account. So that was that. So next is my bills. So my bills, um, it's just what's broken up into here and and my bills came up to $2,021.74. I would love to get my bills under $2,000. That would be ideal, but I don't think that's possible at this very moment because I know my rent is gonna increase. Like I just got the email for that yesterday and it's not gonna increase by that much. It's just gonna increase by $40, but that would still, if my bills are normally $2,020, then trying to get it under 2,000 is impossible. Not impossible, but like, my rent is going up $40, so that sucks. <laughs> but still, like, I'm blessed because I know people are paying way more in rent. Okay, so now for the fun part, the expenses. I love talking about what I spent during the month. And in fact, I actually went over budget in the month of December because <sighs> I ruined my jacket. And I made a whole TikTok about this. So I, I had a jacket that my sister gave me. It was a dry clean only jacket. Wasn't even thinking about it. Threw it in the wash, came out shrunk. Um, so I was like, oh, now I have to buy another jacket. The jacket that I actually did like cost like 300 and something dollars. I think it was like 340 plus tax. And so I went and bought that jacket. So I did go over budget this month by $119.17. But had I had not bought that jacket, then I would have been under budget by like at least 200 and something. But anyway, irrelevant. Well, relevant, but irrelevant right now. Groceries. I spent $24.40 in the month of December on groceries because I did a couple of grocery brand deals and my groceries were comped. Um, well, not comped, but I was able to include the cost of groceries in the invoice. So I didn't spend that much on groceries in the month of December. Gas was $129.40. Dog care was $49.71. Personal care, it was $534.31. And I always like to see like, why? Why is it so much? Um, but it was a lot of skincare like Sephora, 
Um, yeah, a lot of skincare related things. It's I like to spend in my personal care category. It's my favorite category to splurge in. Um, vitamins, $93.54. Takeout, $120.57. And that probably was because like, I did a lot more than, than takeout. I don't usually spend that much in takeout, but then again, it was probably because I didn't spend that much in groceries. I didn't really have to anyway. So I was probably like, oh, let me just eat, eat out some more. Who knows? Um, social, what's social was $155 and 67 cents. Um, household and even 30 shopping $440 and 75 cents. Again, that jacket, <laughs> um, Miscellaneous was $83.44. And what was that for? Um, oh, yeah. So I, I reloaded my parking app. We have this Green P app that you can do street parking and you just pop your thing in the app. Um, that was that. I'm trying to see what other um, COD. So the cost of delivery for something that shipped to me, paying for that. Um, and then the fee that I had to pay my financial planner, um, to secure that appointment. So that was fees and miscellaneous gifts was a hundred and a hundred dollars and 24 cents. And that's it. So that was my expenses. And that totaled up to $1,762 and three cents, which is not that bad. I kind of, I always kind of like gauge what my, bills and expenses are to be like around $4,000. I like to keep it under $4,000. So not, not a bad month. Now let's go to my year to date a totals tab, but I kind of want to deep dive solely on my expenses and I live for this kind of data. That's why I love tracking my spending because I'm able to see like, okay, how much did I spend for the year in groceries? How much did I spend on gas and kind of like, reflect on that and see like, okay, can I improve in 2023? And for the entire year, my expenses was $24,232.80. So when I look at that, I'm thinking like, what, where, where did I spend the most of my money on? And the most I spent, which is not even a surprise to me, <laughs> was my personal care category, of course. Um, in that category, I spent $5,420.35, but I'm just throwing out a few different numbers that are interesting to me. My personal care category being that much, I don't mind it being that much. Um, I think, I think that category makes me really happy when I spend in there. So I'm going to continue spending that kind of money in that area. The only thing that kind of is, um, not a red flag, but kind of is a red flag to me is how little I spent in um, my social category. So when I look at social, it says that I spent $689.73 and I kind of want to spend more in that category. Not that I have to spend money to hang out with my friends and stuff like that, but for it being that low, I'm like, oh, okay, like... I could have done more activities. I could have done more things that is more social. So I'm definitely going to bump that up in the year 2023. Another category that I thought was kind of interesting was my takeout. My takeout category was $788.17. For some reason, I thought it was going to be way more, but it wasn't. So I, I'm impressed with that. So I'll continue doing that. Um, anything else that jumps out to me is not that crazy. I don't know if, okay. So when I look at my groceries, $4,738 and 28 cents in groceries, I don't know if that's normal or not. Is that a normal amount to eat in a year? I don't know. Could it be lower? Should it be lower? No, I don't think so. Eh. Well, well, we'll try. We'll try making it a little lower. <laughs> Um, I did mention that I, another thing that I want to focus on in the year 2023 was being mindful of my food waste. And, um, I do notice that when I go to grocery shop again, when I clean out my fridge, cause I always do the same thing. Every time I do my groceries, I clean out my fridge, I make a grocery list and then I go grocery shopping. 
And when I do clean out my fridge, I'm often throwing things out that went bad or that doesn't look that good or I don't think I'll eat it. So I wanna definitely be more mindful of my food waste in the year 2023. So I think I might cut my grocery budget down um, just so that I'm forced to eat what I everything I have in my fridge and my cupboards. Um, and that in turn will make my grocery bill as a whole a lot less. But I think that's everything. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna say. Um, in terms of my expenses, I know that's the area that I focus more on because that's the most interesting thing to me for my bills. I mean, I already have it on the screen how much I spent in total for my bills, but having these, knowing these kinds of numbers is interesting to me because then I can see like if I only made $40,000 for the year, all my bills would be covered and I'd have an extra 13000 to do food and groceries, like food and take out and take care of my dog. Um, obviously I wouldn't be able to save under that, but just knowing that makes me feel a lot better in some weird turnaround way. I don't know how, but it just know, like, I just know that like, okay, if I worked two months out of the entire year, that can cover my entire year. Like I feel secure knowing that. Not that I would only work two months out of the entire year, but knowing that like, okay, I don't have to keep, I don't know, I don't know how, I'm not wording this properly, but, but yeah, but that's the end of my budget breakdown for the year 2022. Um, if you don't track your spending, I'd say give it a try. <laughs> give it a try, because this kind of data is fascinating and not only that you can also see like your past behavior and be like okay that's something I'm cutting out we are not doing that anymore instead of getting to the end of the year and like looking at your numbers and being like or looking at your bank account because you didn't track but and seeing like why did I spend this little or why did I spend this much I remember watching this TikTok girl um let's just stop saying TikTok girl I remember watching these TikTok videos of people are doing their year-end wrap-ups of how much they spent based off their Chase bank statements and like there was like this trending sound with it and it would be like oh I spent $93,000 this year but I don't even know what it's on like they would just look at their app and they'd be like so shocked that they spent like $43,000 or this amount and like I don't, I don't want to be in a position where I'm shocked to see how much I spent. Yeah, when I looked at this, I was just like, oh, I spent this much in personal care. But because I'm not surprised at that, like because I've been tracking my income, my tracking my spending, it's not throwing me off. Um, and plus, like when I go to look at my year to date totals tab, which I don't look at it every month when I do my budget. But when I do look at it, I'm able to see like, oh, OK, well, um, we're spending a bit more on this or we're spending a little bit less on this. Let's let's do that in real time rather than waiting to the end of the year to be like, ah, what happened? <laughs> but anyway, that is the end of this budget breakdown. Um, if you'd like to see more of these, I'm going to try to do them sooner in the month <laughs> and not in the middle of the month. Please forgive me. Um, we're just really busy over here at OU Budget. I am in the process of doing the small business templates and these take a lot of work. <laughs> so I'm in the, in the process of creating that and I'm really excited to launch that and have people test it out before I offer it to the public. Um, but that's what I've been working on and it's taking up a lot of my time. So Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I appreciate it. Okay, bye. <laughs>